Well, today we're going to dive into our an overview of Up to Us Sports and how our program can work with your port program and how um, we can partner together. So at Up to Us Sports, our mission is really to engage, train, and su support sports coaches. Uh, we Our goal is that all youth are able to reach their full potential by providing them with a positive coach mentor. Um, and we really uh, use our coaches to help address some of the most pressing needs that our youth face in their cities and their communities. I want everyone to take a moment um, and think about a coach or a positive mentor that you've had in your life and what life lesson that they taught you. I'll give everyone a couple seconds to think. I'm not gonna ask for sharebacks today because I know that'll take a while, but for me, um, when I think of a coach or a mentor and what life lesson they taught me, I think about my high school soccer coach who taught me a lot of important letter lessons about leadership that I still use with me today. Um, now, was my coach teaching those intentionally or did that end up happening, happening as a happy accident? I'm not sure. But at Uptest Sports, we train our coaches to teach those life skills that you've all thought of intentionally to the youth in their programs. And so they all have an opportunity, all the youth have an opportunity to leave not only with a sports skill that the coaches are teaching them, but with life skills that will last them off the field into their lives as well. So to reach that goal, we have three different programs that we offer. Our Uptest Training, Uptest Coach, and Uptest Vista program. Today, we're primarily going to be talking about our Uptest Coach program, but before I dive into all three, a brief overview of all three, I did want to explain a little bit more about AmeriCorps if you're not familiar with it. AmeriCorps is an independent government agency leading a national service movement. AmeriCorps partners with organizations across the, the country to provide service members who help tackle pressing needs in communities. So with our AmeriCorps partnership, we provide organizations with AmeriCorps service members, our Up to Us coaches, or our AmeriCorps VISTAs. So AmeriCorps service members directly serve the community. Um, so our coaches are directly serving youth in the community, while our AmeriCorps VISTA program will work internally at an organization to help build capacity through fundraising, marketing, or other programming or creating other programming, really anything internally to help your organization build capacity is what our AmeriCorps VISTA program does. While our AmeriCorps coach program is directly serving youth on the ground and expanding how many youth you can reach um, throughout your program and your sports that you can offer. While our training team will work with your organization, they will do independent trainings to train your staff but our training team also trains all of our AmeriCorps coaches as well. So you can partner with our training team to uh, curate a training based on your specific program needs if you would like to train your staff and your volunteer staff or whatever that may be. Um, and they, all of our training is based in sports-based youth development. So uh, it is, if you haven't heard of sports-based youth development before, it is positive youth development through a sports lens. And our training is focused on trauma-sensitive coaching and improving social emotional skills in youth through sport. Uh, and so those are a brief overview of all of our uh, three programs. And if you're interested in any of the other programs like our training program or our coach program, just let us know after the call and we can connect you with the right people. But today we're really gonna dive into what our AmeriCorps coach program is. Um, and how we can work together through our coach program. So our coach program partnership works, as I kind of mentioned before, we're partnered with AmeriCorps uh, and our AmeriCorps, we place a certain number of AmeriCorps coaches each year at organizations that we partner with, like your organization who are directly serving youth on the ground to help your organization build capacity and do um, even more of the amazing work that you're already doing in the community and with and help reach more youth. So now to dive a little bit deeper into our coach program, I'm going to pass it off to Meredith to talk more of the, about the benefits of hosting an Uptest coach. Awesome. Thanks so much, Addie. 
Um, we could actually jump right to the next slide and we will dive into our Up to Us Sports program. So there's a few uh, wonderful facets of our program and the reasoning why you might be interested in partnering with us. So one of the key reasons is uh, having a consistent coach and programmatic support with our program managers and program directors. You can skip to the next slide. Um, so with you, the Up to Us Sports Partnership, you will have a program manager or program director who directly oversees your coach for all of the training needs that we mentioned, um, all of the making sure that they're in compliance with AmeriCorps, and also making sure that they're taking our training and implementing that training into your program. So our training is not sports specific. So don't worry if you have you know, one of the top five sports, or if you have more of an obscure sport, we work with everything. So we we have even worked with esports in the past. And so our training will be implemented, but you'll have a program manager or program director to make sure that that's being done and supporting your coach throughout the year. Um, additionally, we will ask that you will have a host site supervisor, which is somebody who's on the ground day to day, making sure that your coach is showing up on time, that they're implementing your program needs um, and that they're doing all the things on the ground that we need them to do to make sure that our youth are getting everything that they can out of uh, the partnership that we've created. So you'll have a program manager, well, you'll have the training and you'll have our team. So our national team is also at um, your disposal. So if you need a support with anything when it comes to the coach's pay or anything like that, since that's something that we handle, we can, we can definitely have those conversations with you. Um, we will also take care of the coach interview background checks and HR admin support. However, we will ask that you also interview your coach on your end because we're going to be interviewing them asking specific questions to our program needs, but you will need to interview them to make sure that they're a great fit for your program. Um, throughout the, the year that they will be with your program, that we will have our program managers and program directors doing site visits, coaching support, and checking calls. So every single month, You'll receive a call from our program manager, and so will your coach, and we'll continue to update you with any needs that we have, but also where they are within their process with AmeriCorps, where they are with their training, if we need any support from you, and vice versa. Um, additionally, we're going to be doing two, at least two formal site visits if your host site is in the city where our program staff are. So we do sometimes work with remote sites. That's a little bit different, and we can talk about that offline on more of a one-on-one case-by-case -on -one basis. The other piece is that you will have mentorship and community. So we're going to be bringing our coaches together and we also wanna bring our host site supervisors together and create this community, create this impact together and learn and train together as well. And then the main goal, as Addie mentioned, is that you're gonna be able to build capacity within your program. So you're gonna be able to either reach more youth at the site where you already are because you have a trained coach who's on the ground or potentially you'll be able to expand to other sites and be able to reach more youth in other areas. All right, the next portion is r &E support. So one thing that we require whenever we have a partnership is that we're gonna collect data and we need your support with that. So we're always going to ask our coaches to get a roster and attendance for each of the programs that they're working with, each of the seasons that they're working with, to make sure that we're holding them accountable, but that we're also being able to see how many youth we're actually influencing with our program. Additionally, we will have uh, social emotional learning surveys that we will ask from certain groups within your program. At least one of your groups will be asked to complete this. Um, your coach is in charge of this, so they will be the ones taking the lead on this, but we will ask for host site supervisor support and being sure that they are receiving the correct information um, and if they need any help getting things in on time. At the end of their year, so whether they start now or they start in August or they start in the winter of 25, when they complete their term of service, as long as they give us 80% of the data that we've asked for, we will actually be able to spit out for you this annual data performance report, which will give you all of the data already filtered and figured out for you so that you can utilize that information so that you can apply for grants or if you wanna put it on your website to show the improvement that you've made throughout the year. So that's a really great benefit of our program. 
Next up is career readiness. <laughs> that one flew by. Um, so career readiness is this amazing tool that we've expanded upon uh, in the past, I would say 18 months. So one thing that we realized is a lot of the coaches that are coming on board are between 18 to 24 years old. They're brand new to the workforce. They're really eager to help kids and help youth, but they're not quite sure what they're going to do next after their year of service, or they need a little polishing to get to where they already know they want to go. So because of the coaches asking for support organically, we decided it was time for us to expand into career readiness to make sure we're supporting the coaches on their journey throughout their time with us, but then hopefully setting them up for success beyond their year of service. So they will have access and um, there are some pilot regions that are going to have more intentional in-person items as well, but all of our coaches across the nation will have access to one-on-one -on -one career readiness support. This is a 30 minute opportunity for them to sit down with our career readiness program manager, go over quite a few different options that they will be listed out. Um, they can help get help with their resume, with cover letters, with interview support, even as simple as just where do I start to look for a job after this to make sure that we're able to support them. Additionally, they're gonna go through some career exploration and mapping workshops. So this will allow them to see where their mind is, where they're looking after their year of service. Maybe it's continuing in the sports world, maybe it's switching over to something else or going back to school. And once they have that map in place, we're gonna try and find them some mentorship opportunities. And then we do have these um, career accelerator events, which we just had one with, I believe it was Liverpool, the football club from England. Um, and so we were able to get our group together. They were able to see some really exciting career opportunities behind the scenes sports work, which I think a lot of people don't realize are even opportunities to stay in the sports world. Um, and so we have these amazing opportunities to be able to support them throughout the year. And then we're gonna continue to support them after they are alumni as well. The final piece is evidence-based training. This is something that we've talked about a little bit already. Um, your coaches will receive a, I believe it's now 25 hours of, of training that is gonna go over all of the items listed my, on your screen. So we have team culture, vital connections, community contacts, managing difficult behavior, the power of play and coaching for outcomes. So as Addie mentioned, we're really focused on the organic items that sometimes come from sports and coaching and making them more intentional in our skill building with our coaches because we know that our coaches have a great opportunity because of the amount of hours that they're spending with our youth to build these vital connections become a caring adult in the lives of the of the kids that they're working with and make a difference in their extension beyond sport and also throughout life. So these are the training opportunities that we have with the coach program. And as Addie mentioned, if you're looking for something specific around one of these targeted items that is for your staff or for your volunteers, that's something we can direct you to the training team and they can do trainings that are more um, concise and, and specific for your, for your program. So all coaches are gonna receive all the items that I mentioned. So they'll receive career readiness, they'll receive their are any support to get data collection in. They'll receive evidence-based training and they'll receive a program manager or program director that's gonna support them throughout the year and make sure that they're able to reach all of their goals throughout their year of service. With that, I'm gonna pass it over to Frank, who's gonna go into the benefits of being an UpToUs coach. Thank you, Meredith. And I think a lot of this was covered. I think it's good to have it all in one spot. Um, for everybody. So the benefits of being an up to us coach, again, they are sort of three things at once. They're a coach at your organization. They're an AmeriCorps member as well as an up to us coach. Um, so on the AmeriCorps side, they will receive a living stipend throughout their year um, that gets paid out biweekly. At the end of the year, when they complete the full uh, service term, they will get an education award. Um, and they get to be a part of a, a program uh, during their AmeriCorps service term called MAP, uh, Member Assistance Program, which is a free 24-7 uh, counseling program that they get to uh, talk to someone. Uh, with actually, more than that, it's it's financial support. It's, it's a lot of different things um, that they get for free throughout the year. And they get to be a part of the AmeriCorps network just in general. Um, on the Up to Us side, we touched a lot on career readiness. Again, that's resume writing, that's goal setting, that's even figuring out what I want to do after this. Um, it's a phenomenal program, and that's the support that they can get um, throughout their full service term uh, as an Up to Us coach. 
Uh, again, that uh, program staff support, consistent one-on-ones from their program manager or program director, uh, in-person support, which will be two uh, formal site visits, but can also be a, a lot of informal visits if that coach feels like they need some assistance um, on some of the techniques that were taught throughout training or even sport specific if our uh, program manager can provide that. Um, again, the high quality coach training, they get 25 hours of that skill, uh, sports-based youth development, trauma-sensitive training, um, and they get to be a part of a network of like-minded coaches um, and get to stay connected with them, not only through the service term, but beyond um, once they become alumni. Um, we can go to the next slide. Thank you. Um, so what could this look like at my program? Um, so generally speaking, we've uh, historically partner with either school-based organizations or community-based organizations. Um, so within schools, uh, they can lead after or before school sports programs that can, uh, again, be any sport. We've seen anything from ultimate frisbee to parkour to the traditional basketball, baseball, football. Um, they can assist during PE classes and they can lead uh, and or assist with structured recess time um, throughout a school day as well. Uh, within the community-based organizations, <clears throat> they can lead or assist sports, uh, sports programming and teams. Um, they can help with activities outside of sports programming. That can be uh, homework help, dinner time, um, really anything in between those. Um, and they can also help recruit volunteers and do community outreach, uh, parent engagement, curriculum development, things like that. Um, what a service year looks like details wise, these service terms can be anywhere from six months to 12 months. The one thing that we will have um, pretty hefty conversations on before we would move forward with the partnership is how realistic it is to get the amount of hours for this coach within that given time. Um, so they can, we have three different slot types that a coach can serve. So it's the halftime slot, which is 900 hours. The three quarter time, which is 1200 hours, and the full time, which is 1700 hours. So, again, any, anywhere from six to 12 months, generally, the higher the uh, amount of hours, the longer we would want that service term to be. Um, they also get those 20 hours of SPYD training in which they do log as um, hours on their timesheets. Uh, again, they receive that living stipend and education award. The way that the living, sti living stipend works is that they submit a timesheet on a bi weekly basis and they get paid on a bi weekly basis. Um, the, and then lastly, the, uh, site will have a host site supervisor. So Meredith mentioned this earlier that would get a call, uh, every month or so from our program, uh, managers, the host site supervisor is going to be our main contact at the organization. So it's going to be someone that, uh, both parties would identify that is going to be with the coaches, whether it's directly on the ground or, or, or not far removed that way. Um, when there are uh, things that we need or potentially any problems or whatever, uh, they're the person that we can go to to speak with and try to resolve things. Um, yeah, and we can move on to the next slide. Um, awesome. So um, this does come with a cost share. Um, we are working with several different grants across the nation. So after this call, um, depending on what region you are in, you will receive uh, a pretty detailed um, cost share document that goes in, in depth on, um, you know, how payments work and such. Um, you will also receive a partnership application uh, for the 24-25 year, and you will also receive a recording of this webinar for you to look back at um, and review at, at your leisure. Um, once you'll probably receive that email early to mid next week, we have a few things that we need to finalize. Um, before sending that out. But feel free to, once you receive that email, either reach back out to us or our regional person that reaches out to you all to set up a one-on-one -on -one conversation or a one-on however many in your organization would like to be there conversation. And we would be happy to answer any sort of questions uh, or, or provide any sort of clarity that you feel like you need before officially applying or even after you apply and you want to have the conversation then. Um, so we're more than happy to hop on as many calls as it takes to answer questions uh, and, and get the ball rolling. Um, Addy, Meredith, did I miss anything or anything that you all want to highlight before we open up the floor for questions? I know we had a few in the chat. The only thing I wanted to add is when you receive your application there, if you go back one slide, Addy, just to make sure this happens quite a bit, there is a section that says preview the application questions. That is going to bring you to a Word document. You do not need to fill that one out. That is just if you want to look at the questions beforehand. 
you're not going to be able to see it in this slide, but if you scroll down, that's where it says next. Next is going to bring you to the actual application. That can be a little confusing sometimes. The only other piece I wanted to mention is that the application does not tie you to anything. You do not need to pay to put in an application. Um, it does not require you to move forward. It is only just showing that you're interested. So you can start that application as soon as you feel like you might want to learn more. Or as Frank mentioned, you can reach out to your local staff and they'll be able to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with y'all. So you can make sure that you feel comfortable before submitting the application. But just wanted to put that out there because we have seen that quite a bit where people fill out the Word document and then send us that. And unfortunately, we then have to ask you to go back and fill in the other one.